It's a 110 uh, 40 amp. And like I say, I have never had experience with plasma cutters. Uh, this will be my first time using one and having one. And uh, I'm glad I got my cart done yesterday now. Uh, but uh, I'll unbox this and then I'll give you the details more about the machine as we go. But I thought at least you could see what it looks like uh, being sent. And I got this on Amazon. And it was, it was around, uh, by the time I got done, uh, of course I had a gift card. But uh, the average price at the time was $245 for this model and I thought that was pretty reasonable for what you got and pretty decently uh, packaged too. Hmm. But there's the back of it, off and on switch, your air regulator and filter. It comes already hooked up electrically like I say, it's 110, so it's convenient. Uh, here's your, your ground cable. It's actually not too bad looking. Not bad for the money. They give you air holes for the back to hook up, which is convenient. Looks like they give you plenty, like most of them. Most of the reviews I've seen, they talk about that. Got only one crucible, that's okay because I bought extra. They were pretty cheap on Amazon to get extras of all this stuff. So I got plenty, I ordered a whole, and it came the same time actually. Handy and since it's 110, you know what, if I need to, if a neighbor wants to borrow it or something like that, they can. You know, that's one thing about the neighbors and people around here is when you need something, you just ask someone and, and they'll lend it to you and and so you don't have to buy everything, you know, for little jobs. And so if a neighbor ever wanted to borrow this or one of the kids in school or whatever, yeah, why not? I mean, it's not like it's a $4,000 unit that I'd be afraid to let it borrow. Now, the reason why I also got this is a lot of people were complaining about the, the handle or the, the gun, I guess you want to call it. A lot of people didn't like that button on the back side, the little and it look, did look a little cheesy, but everyone was really liking the trigger mechanism on this one where it's at. And so now I just got to do is put it together, read up on it, and when I do some practice cuts and stuff and, and use it, I'll uh, videotape it and share that with you guys. So hey, thanks a lot for being with me on opening this up and getting it all set up. Thanks guys, have a good day, bye-bye. Hi everyone, Country Peddler here. Uh, hey, I just wanted to do a quick review of, of that plasma cutter for everyone. Um, some of the issues I found, first is the, the user error, and that's me. Uh, first time I ever got a plasma cutter, so I'm kind of learning how to use it. I have a tendency of thinking it's a, it's a stick welder, like our, my Lincoln welder I grew up with, and I want to do that angle, and that I know it's supposed to be at a 90 degree when you're cutting. Uh, I'm trying to get the airflow as well. Um, uh, it's, it's 110 and I know it's maxed out at 40 amps, but it, when I was trying to cut a, a quarter inch steel uh, yesterday, I was having problems. I, I blew the fuse a couple times because I went too far. I don't have the right fuse in the fuse box. I only got 20. So I can't turn it all the way up to cut the thicker steel. And I mean, it was it was cutting, but as you see, it, it's not a, a clean cut. And I until so I, I change my outlet or, or my amps or my fuses, I'm not going to be able to cut anything thicker than what I'm I'm cutting now. And that's mostly sheet steel, and you'll see thin thinner stuff like aluminum and stuff. But I kind of bought it for that because it's it's sheet metal that I'm cutting uh, that I want to cut. And I also ordered a guide on uh, Amazon because I thought that would help me. Uh, I'm having a tough time holding it steady and not touching that steel. Uh, I mean, it's supposed to be an eighth of an inch away from the steel to work properly. And I catch myself touching the steel and on the nozzle. So I'm hoping the guide helps me. But other, I mean, it, it does a great job cutting for the money. Uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's 
between 200 and 300 dollars by the time you get all this stuff um the nozzles and extra equipment but it comes really all ready to use all you gotta do is hook up the your gun your your uh your ground cable and hook up the air hose to the back and it's ready to go so anyway i'll do some cuts share those with you uh it does a great job on sheet metal but like i say i'm learning uh i got some reading up to do and i got uh, to get that guide and see if that helps as well. Anyway, thanks everyone. Have a great day. Okay, everyone, here we go. Okay, that's the, the lighter stuff. And like I say, I got to get used to cutting it. Uh, and I think the guide will help me with that. And I maybe have to work on my grounding too. Might need to be better. Now here's the heavier stuff. And let me get set up for that. And I'll give it one more shot. And see if I can get a, get a cut on that. Thanks everyone. Okay everyone, we're going to give a, a shot on this bigger piece of metal. A little thicker, I mean and see how we do on this one. I got a little bit there I didn't get go through. Like I said, I just I gotta work with the air flow, I think, and uh, get that guide and, and figure out the different depths and how long to take to make the cut to give the air time to push it through. But anyway, hey, it cuts what I, I really needed to cut, and uh, for the amount of money, I thought it was pretty pretty handy. Thanks, everyone. Hope you uh, hope that helps. If you have any questions? Just go ahead and put them in a the comment or. Uh, help me out on uh, being a newbie.